Hi, this is George Cow, and I'm happy to be here with Sandy Freshy. She is a human design expert, and she's a client of mine. And let me just first say hello. Hi, Sandy. Hi, George. Thanks for being here. It's great to be here. Yeah. So uh, let me read your bio out for, for the, the audience, and then you have, um, I'd love for you to share with the audience what is you know, human design, and uh, you have some things to teach us about that. So um, Sandy Fresh, she is a human design specialist. She uses a system of human design to guide people on how to use their gifts and talents to cultivate an authentically successful life. And uh, your cat is welcome, Sandy. It's totally <laughs> cool, actually. Uh, <laughs> Makes the video fun. Yeah, let me just let him out. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. <laughs> As long as he's not meowing uh, the whole time, like like my cat would, if I okay, go call yeah, Mike, yeah. Her out. <laughs> An another internet cat video. <laughs> yes, yes, that's great. So I'll let you. Maybe you can start with what is human design for those who haven't heard of it. Now I know some of you here have heard of human design. Some of you here actually have worked with Sandy, and uh, everybody I send to Sandy and works with her loves the work uh, doing human design. But for those who don't know human design or need a refresher, what is that? What what is it? Well, in a nutshell, um, human design is a really intricate system or a way of understanding yourself at a very deep level. So um, I'm just going to show the chart because that's probably the easiest way to sort of um, at least get it into your subconscious. Uh, so as you can tell, there's a lot going on here with this chart. And basically what we're looking at is your pre-birth and your birth imprinting. What were the prominent themes in your life or in, in, the, in the culture, in the uh, environment, in the season in which you were born at the time that you were born? And then what were those themes three months before? And those are the things that we're uh, sort of energetically imprinted with that sort of call out of us through our lifetime um, certain behaviors, certain tendencies toward attitudes and actions. Um, and also, um, you know, how we're here to kind of reconcile this body mind construct that we are as humans. So yeah. and, uh, that's and why. Quite, and you, uh, since I've heard you do some of the teaching before, I like that you talk about how human design is sort of like a, a combination or has elements of astrology, um, the chakra system, mm -hmm. and I Ching or yes. genetic code. Um, anything else you want to say about that so people can kind of have a sense of, of, of what to relate it to? Well, think about, um, you know, uh, the, uh, in personal growth circles, a lot of times we talk about the archetypes that we live from, you know, the, the archetype of the warrior and the archetype of the princess and all of that. You can kind of look at a lot of these themes and how they come together as the the archetypes that you're living out in your life so uh you know and and how does the the hero come together with uh you know and and rescue the people that's that's a story that you may be working with um through your lifetime as an as an archetypal storyline so that's one way of looking at behaviors and attitudes and potentials for yourself as you go um, deeply into the chart now we don't have to go that deeply for people to get things out of their their chart uh, you know some people are really good with the surface level and they get what they need and they can move on and and use it and and be very successful in their lives so the first step really for with human design is to get your chart read or to to, to have a chart done Yes. Uh, and is that that's something you do with for clients? Yes, it is. Like when you uh, come to get a reading or if you're coming for coaching or mentoring, I definitely need to see your chart. So therefore you get a copy of your chart because you're, you're going to want it anyway to for further research. Most people do when they're interested in this. Um, there are also different ways that you can just get one for free. And I actually have a video somewhere on that of how to get one where if you don't want to, you know, if you want to follow me intermittently, but you want to have a chart of your own, there are ways to do that so uh, there are all kinds of online ways but once you get your chart one of the things that kind of breaks my heart is sometimes people get their chart and I've heard them say this when they realize I'm a human design practitioner um, the, the, oh, they get all excited because they have their chart or they got their chart and then they tell me 
I, I put it in the drawer because I had no idea of what to do with it. And it, it just, it drives me crazy. It's like, let's pull this out and take a look at it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You have you have the secret to your success, to your to everything here, to you. <laughs> we have to look at it. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so tell us more. I mean, there's yeah. a lot. Of course, you can go into, but um, yeah. maybe give, us an, yeah. give us an introduction to some of the themes or some of what we can expect. Yeah. Well, you know, most people who come to me for a reading or out of curiosity are looking for like one or two things. They, they're they either on that path of personal development and uh, self-knowledge and all of that. And they just want to know themselves better. They want to know what their purpose is and they want to know, um, you know, how how they're doing with that. Um, and then other people or, you know, people who want to know that may discover um, that there are patterns that they've developed over time that need to be corrected or that they want to correct so that they can have a more, more fulfilling experience of how they live out their life and their purpose. Um, so here's a major question that I get from most people who, who see this and they go, Oh man, I, I see the potential here. I, I want to know myself at this level. The question is you usually goes along the line of how do I use my design to achieve X, Y, or Z and X, Y, or Z can be, you know, how do I use my design to um, market better in my business or attract clients or have a better relationship or, um, you know, finally, uh, finally find the career that I want or the place that I want to live. And, uh, you know, we're humans, we think that way. And, um, and, I like to troubleshoot, so that's probably why I attract people with that question. But the first thing I open, I like to open people up to is to consider the possibility that your genetics um, has more in store for you than the idea that you have about X, Y, and Z. And in, during the course of a reading, that's what gets revealed from this chart is, you know, what is, you know, what what is beyond how you do marketing in your business or what is beyond how you attract the the perfect mate and all of that you know there's more to you than these little boxes that you've put your ideas about your life in so so that's the first thing and then um this the second thing that we we work on or i like to work with people on is how they can begin to trust themselves and their uniqueness by developing a strategy so that they can stay true to who they are. You know, all of this colored in area here is who you are, who you are consistently that you can trust about yourself. So we look at that and, um, you know, the first pass, when we look first looking at the chart, we're just looking at the generalities and you get the gist of how to stay true to who you are. And the thing, the great thing about the system of, of human design, of looking at the chart through the traditional system, is the strategy, the, the baseline for strategy is already built in. There are several different uh, energy types, different configurations of charts. Each chart yeah, is and, unique. And if I could, I'm sorry, if I, I don't mean to interrupt you. I, I would love if you could... If, You've worked with so many different people uh, over the years on human design clients, and are there any story? Is there, is there one story that kind of comes to mind when you say, uh, you know, you just told us about two things? One is to not kind of look at your whole life in terms of, okay, this is just me trying to get clients or me trying to find the, the perfect relationship or whatever. It's, it's broader than that. What do you mean by that? Like, is there a, an example you can share with us? Well, um, you know, sometimes, uh, I'll, I'll take this back to like business and, you know, because sure, people yeah, are coming absolutely. to me and, um, yes. they're like, you know, how, how this marketing thing, you know, I yeah, know you're the marketing the, expert, but it's like, how do I do this? You yeah, know, most I'm, of the people I'm, in the audience are, are, are wondering yeah. about that. Yeah. I'm a projector energy type. How do I do that? That's one of the energy types. Well, when we look at, when we look at your chart, it's like, well, you know, all you have to do is be yourself and emerge from that. So, um, you know, a lot of people are actually designed to be very individual 
in, in the way that they approach the world to be very uh, life-changing and mutative, especially entrepreneurs, you know, and, and, and I can see it in their chart. And they're always like, it's almost like um, a lot of them are, are pushing against the tide or they're trying to row against the tide because they've been told these things that work for most people. But what they're really here for is to change the system. And, and, but they, they, a lot of times they're afraid to trust their individual strengths and gifts because it doesn't really follow the timing of um, what, what experts say they need to do, um, you know, all of that stuff. And, but they know deep down inside when I say, hey, you know, you have your own timing here. That's, that's one aspect of the chart, you know. You know and if you, if you just loosen up around this thing that, that you're trying to make yourself do, um, you're going to get more inspiration in that way, and it's going to change a lot more people's lives when you actually start to live that way. And it's like a big relief when that happens. I've, I've had several people come to me with that, that sort of configuration in their chart, and it's like, then they start to rework it, and they find, you know, that they're, they're actually flowing so much better and making so much more impact because they're impacting from, you know, what they have to impact with. Yeah, that's, that's, that's helpful. That's really helpful to know. So uh, before I interrupted you, you were starting to say that uh, there are different energy types. So mm-hmm. tell us, you mentioned projector as one type. And yep. just for those who are you know, watching this and kind of learning about human design for the first time, these energy types are kind of like personality types. You know, some people yeah. say, well, they're, they're, not, they're not exactly correlated, but you know, some people, oh, I'm an extrovert, I'm an introvert, et cetera. Well, in human design, there are also types. So maybe you can walk us through these types a little bit. And, yeah, uh, and, and this is really the surface level understanding. Like if all you yeah. grasp is like your type and your strategy for your type, your strategy right. for staying true to yourself, <laughs> that, you know, you may be good for the rest of your life. <laughs> and, and, um, but, but within that, there are all kinds of different individual uh, things that you can align with. Yeah. And also, there, did you, uh, did I hear right when you say that there's something to do with timing as well? So does, I imagine a, a person's human design doesn't change over their life. No, no. But, but, but does it, does it, are there certain periods of their life where by the human design, it, oh, it says, we, we don't yeah. have time for all of that, but I'll, <laughs> I'll give you that. But, but basically, I mean, no, yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering, it, it, I guess maybe more of a yes or no. Like, well, there's, there timing, is, there's yeah. timing in certain aspects of what will, the colored in areas, the definition. Um, but there's also time, there's timing in, in certain strategies because yeah. like there's a, an energy type known as a generator. Most of your clients are probably generators. Um, and there's timing in how they need to wait for things to come so that they respond with their gut. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so there's timing in that way. There's also timing in all of this openness. And this is, this is where people can get really distracted from who they are or compromise themselves a lot of times because they don't understand that this energy here comes and goes. So it comes Mm -hmm. via other people. It comes via, you know, what's in the astrological transits, all of that stuff that can affect timing, um, and can also affect how, how uh, well you're able to stay aligned with who you really are. Got it. Okay. So now, now I'll let you describe what the energy types are and okay. the, the basic strategies. Yeah. Okay. So I started with projectors. Um, and and each, each type has like a general overall general purpose of what they're here to contribute. So, so um, projectors are, let, let me, let me go back. Let me, let me start with generators because generators make up 70% of the people on the planet. So generators are, are designed to build. They have consistent life force and work energy. So, you know, they're, they just, they just really get off on doing work that's really satisfying for them. And they have the energy to just keep going and going and going and going as long as it's satisfying. So they, they're here, they're the ones that have built the pyramids, you know, they're building all of our, our houses and structures and all of these things that, um, so, um, and they need to, to use their energy. The energy type that is the projector are the ones that are here to uh, guide 
So I'm a projector where, you know, I'm, I'm here to kind of stand apart and guide other people or to create things that are, um, can I out you on this too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're a projector too. So, you know, we're here to kind of create things um, that facilitate uh, and guide other people into what they need to do, into their activities. A lot of times we're guiding generators because generators have the energy to work, but they're in the work so they can't see the work. We can see the work. Mm. Yes. Um, so so and, and, that's... And sorry to interrupt one more time. Like, even though 70% based on surveys are generators, it could be that one audience is skewed more heavily towards this or that. So it could be that there are a lot of projectors in my audience. I don't know. There could Actually, be. There are a lot of projectors in my audience. Oh, I see. <laughs> but, but also, since you've worked with a lot of people in my audience, do, do you see a, a pattern? Like, are, are there generators be, and yeah. manifesting generators? Which okay, is okay, kind of great. A subset of generators, yeah. Okay. Now, there's a, another type that makes up, and, and let's go back to projectors real quick because they make about 20% of the population. Um, uh, there's another type called the manifester. And manifestors are, uh, they embody that archetype of the old pharaohs and kings and queens. So they have this energy that uh, just sort of can uh, make a big impact. And they're here to kind of initiate people to get started on stuff. And then they need to move on. You know, they, they, they're immensely creative people, dedicated to their creative expression a lot of times. Not that they're, all of them are artistic or anything like that, but they just need to keep, keep getting things started and, and getting people on board so that they can do the projects that the, the manifestor starts and they, they start and go on and impact some other people or some other projects. So they make up about 7%, 7, 8% uh, of the population. And then the very rarest of the energy types is the reflector. And if you were to look at a reflector energy type, none of these centers, these energy centers would be colored in. They're here they make up about one or two percent of the population and they're they're here to really um feel out and reflect uh the health and well-being of an organization or a group of people so they're the ones who kind of come in they come out they they feel they reflect and you can always tell how your group of people is doing by how well the reflector is doing they also, you know, because they're taking so much in, these, these, these undefined centers, these white centers are where you're taking energy in and you're feeling it from others. Um, they can get a read on a group like that. They're really, really good group facilitators. Um, but uh, yeah, so, so they have a very, very rare special purpose. <laughs> mm, that's great. And then you mentioned, of course, manifesting generators. Um, do you want to touch on that or? Well, it, some, some people in the human design community consider manifesting generators a subset of generators. Think if a generator is, is uh, an energy type that can work consistently, um, the manifesting generator works consistently and works very fast. <laughs> so a lot of times they have a lot of energy that they have to get out and and use up so they they're really good at multitasking they're really good at facilitating opportunities for other people and building um you know building kind of almost the nuts and bolts uh not systems but you know the nuts and bolts opportunities for people to come in and participate so um does that make it clear yeah that does that definitely helps and i know in a, such a short time and having studied this for years, you're only touching on the very uh, overview level of, of, of the system. Um, so given that our time is running short, how can people work with you or uh, what are you um, kind of presenting these days as, as a way for people to work with you? Or however you want to share what you want to offer. Well, um, my uh, work, uh, my website is sandyfreshy.com. That's F R E S Sandy with a Y F R E S C H I dot com. Uh, so all of my programs and stuff are over there. Right now, I'm working on a, a program to understand actually 
this center right here, the emotional solar plexus. Um, and it's about learning how to manage your emotions. There are actually two different operating systems. You know, we talked about the colored in and the white, um, and they operate very differently. And this is where a lot of people get into these emotional conflicts and uh, challenging emotional situations. So that's what um, this workshop that I'm getting ready to launch is, is going to address. Um, and I have other courses as well from the beginner level and, uh, you know, one for generators, one for projectors, those kinds of things. So it's an ongoing development of, uh, of education and guidance. That's great. And so people can, uh, you know, if you, if you have any questions and you, I mean, those watching this, you can comment below and I'll make sure Sandy sees it. You could just also go to her website www.sandy, S-A-N-D-Y, mm -hmm. freshy, F-R-E-S-C-H-I, dot com. And she also has a um, Facebook uh, page that she's active with. I'll put the link below. And also, she, uh, Sandy, you have a YouTube channel. Is that right? Also? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you can find it just by searching um, Sandy. Sandy Freshy or Coaching with Sandy, I think it's. I, I will, I'll yeah. put the link yeah. below anyway, <laughs> I, because some of you are watching this on YouTube right now. So I'll definitely put the link below um, that. So um, anything else, Sandy, you want to share as we kind of finish up the call? Well, um, just uh, to just to encourage people not to be afraid of your uniqueness because everybody has a piece of the puzzle that you're bringing to our human whatever we're working out here as humans and and it's really important to be fully who you are and um and not to compromise on that and if i can help by uh turning you on to all of this stuff that's on the chart it would be my pleasure to do so mm. wonderful well it matches well with uh, my message of marketing authentically and that's uh yeah so absolutely i, I love your uh, i love your work so Thank, thank you for being with us, Sandy, and I hope uh, everyone enjoyed this uh, conversation. Thanks, thank everyone. you. Bye for now.